welcome everyone to our sixth episode of the Gaijin Smash podcast. In this podcast, we're going to talk about you know Japan in general, starting off with segment one, where we teach you guys some new Japanese words, followed by segment two, where we talk a little bit about、um, Japanese media or something Japan related, whether it be in the news, maybe some anime drama, whatever we want to bring、um, to the table. Yeah, that's from Japan. And the final part is just going to be a freestyle. We'll talk about whatever we want. You know, simple enough. Three simple parts. There you go. I'm Kiko. And these two guys right here will, will introduce themselves. I'm Jerry. I'm Alex. Yeah. Now, to start off the first part,、um, I forgot who started off the first one last time.、Uh, shoot. I think that was Alex. All right. Well, Jerry, you can start this one off. What word do you have for us today, Jerry? Okay, I think, um, oh, what's a good word? Yeah, dude, you, just, you, can think, you can think of anything, dude. If you can't think of anything, then pass it on. Well, I mean, like, does that have to be a useful word, or are we talking? Is there a certain category? See, Jerry, the way this works, man, is whatever your heart desires. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so my word for this, for today, will be. Sanka. <laughs> Sanka. What? No, that's fine. Sanka suru. Sanka suru. What? What's wrong with that, Kiko? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with well, that. You got, what, what? You got a problem with it? There's no problems with it. What does it mean? Use it in a sentence and spell it out. Like, you know, just to participate, to be involved in.、Uh, and to spell it out is S A N C E. No, K A. K A. So, how would you say I would like to participate in that,、uh, in that party?、Hmm. I don't know, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong, but party ni sanka shitai. I want to participate in party. Yeah. I know party ni sanka shitai. Sanka shitai. What did you say? I know party. Ano,、uh. For, for one second, I thought you said in English, anal. <laughs> anal. <laughs> anal, anal party. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do you, Jerry, you do you. <laughs> hey, why don't you go screw yourself? So,、anyway. so, so, is this, so it's Sanka Suru? Uh huh. Sanka Suru. All right, so yeah, Suru. It, suru. It's, well, it's, like, it's like, you know, one of those nouns that you could attach Suru to to make it a verb. verb. Yeah. 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 It's a Suru verb. <laughs> All right, so yeah, suru, suru pretty much means to do something, and suru goes behind a lot of words. So, pretty much to do something. So, participate, to do a participation.、Um, sounds kind of weird, but yeah, suru is very important. It's like a base, like a base word. So, sanka, suru, sanka. Okay, Alex, you're next. What do you got for us? Yep. Kind of want to follow up. Uh, the previous word in a way.、Mm -hmm. So、um, I would like to bring to the table word yasumi. 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 Which means, Kiko, do you remember that? Yeah, it means like break and holiday. Exactly. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit? Like, how can you use it? Well, let's say.、Uh, You are at your work and you understand that it would be nice to get a couple holidays in the next month, a couple extra holidays. Maybe you just go into your boss saying,、uh, Excuse me, sir, I would like to take a couple days off in the next month, a couple, couple extra days off. So in Japanese, it's gonna be, Raigitsuni yasumi o toritai. Yasumi. Yasumi. And、yeah. how, how do you spell Yasumi? Yasumi. Saisho ya o kaite, no ato su ni kaite, de saigo ni wa mi. Easy, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. No, 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 I'm sorry about that. D had a joke. <laughs> well,、uh, the thing is, yeah, so、um, by the、uh, English letters, it's been gonna be. Y A S U M 
はい。休み。<笑> You asshole, you tried to confuse us. That ain't cool. And I was like half paying attention. I'm like, wait, this guy is not speaking English right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm kind of all, all a bit tired in the head too. So I decided, eh, I'll explain how to, <laughs> I'll explain how to write it in Hiragana in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, now, so Yasumi, yeah, you can use it for like, oh, I'm going to take a holiday type of Yasumi. Mm-hmm. And also, um, like when you're at work and you're going to take like a lunch break. That's also a Yasumi, a break. Yeah.、Um, mm-hmm. A smoke break, Yasumi.、Um, if you're in school and you get like a couple of days off from school for like Christmas or something, that'd be like Christmas break. So it'll be、mm-hmm. like, you know, Christmas, Christmas, you know, Yasumi or whatever. Yeah. I mean,、uh, very useful word. Yeah. Yeah. Decently、yeah. useful. Oh.、Um, um, what about you, Kiko?、Um, do you have any specific word? Yeah, I'm gonna go with a simple one.、Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's just a fun word.、Um, and the fun word is Tanoshi. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tanoshi means to have fun. So,、um, yeah, it just pretty much means fun. If you wanna say, I had fun, so let, let's say you're hanging out with your friends, if you have any friends, or you're hanging out with a girl. Come on, guys, be real. Are you really going to be hanging out with a Japanese girl? <laughs> But let's say you did, like, in your imagination, whatever, you know? And you tell the girl, like, hey, I had fun with you. You're going to say, like, it's Tanoshi, but to say past tense, like, I had fun, it's going to be a little bit more advanced Japanese, like, changing the word into past tense. But it'll be like Tanoshikata.、Mm-hmm. Tanoshikata.、Mm-hmm. So the way to spell Tanoshi, just present tense or future tense, is T A. N O S H I I Tanoshi. And then past tense is t a、uh, Fuck. Past tense is Tanoshikata, which is T A N O K A T T A. Right?、Mm. Yeah, Tanoshikata. So there you go. That's a very useful word for you guys. <laughs> so,、um, the three words, Jerry, do you want to repeat them? Okay, so it is. Sanka, Yasumi, Tanoshi. And what do they translate into? Sanka means to participate or to be a part of.、Um, Yasumi is like break, vacation, holiday. And Tanoshi is like fun, enjoyable, having a good time. So, there you go. Some words for you guys. Don't forget them. And yeah, let's move on to the next part, which is. Bringing some new Japanese related stuff.、Um, do you guys have anything for us? Anything? Well, you, how about you, Alex? Has anything exciting happened in Japan that you've seen on the news or anything?、Mm. Or maybe you went to the konbini and they had like a special for like two onigiris for one hyakuen. <laughs> you know, anything, anything's cool, man. <laughs> well, honestly, lately,、um, it's not like I've been specifically looking for, but lately there have been a lot of.、Um, Crime related news in Japan overall. What? Yeah, there's been a couple、uh, accidents uh, which turns out are not accidents. Like one guy、uh, killed a bus of、uh, school kids. Yeah. Where the fuck did that happen? Yeah.、Uh, I, I don't know the, the whole mo- motives and stuff like that. They're never telling a lot about those. <clears throat> so、mm. people wouldn't have. We wouldn't have a viral idea, you know. <laughs> I know、so、they're, they're afraid, afraid of, but、uh, yeah, there's that that happened a couple of weeks ago, or maybe like a week ago. So, t h o u g h that, but you know, they've been getting ready the news, cleaning up. So, that's why, although it happened like a week ago, they announced that only a couple of days ago. Other stuff, too, like I don't know what's, well, I don't know what's happening, but. I know, maybe it's seasonal. <laughs> no, so Japan is normally a very, very safe country.、Um, mm-hmm. A lot of crime doesn't happen, you know, like there's not something you see. Like the worst crime that's going to happen、um, is going to be、um, <laughs> someone losing their phone <laughs> and then finding it, in, finding it in the lost and found. Well, well no, not like that, but, but pretty much crime is not normal. You don't really see it happen that often. So when it does happen, yeah, that shit is all over the news. Yeah, that's one yeah. of those. 
That seems mm. kind of crazy. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of corporate, you know, uh, crimes, like someone steal in the company something. But uh, that's basic, basically, that's the top of it. That's the top of the uh, quote-unquote crime news in Japan. It's just a safe country overall. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, there's that. So, I have, unfortunately, I cannot lend you any specifics. But that's probably gonna <laughs> that's probably gonna be the first news in our podcast. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, um, Jerry, what do you got for us, or should I go next? Um, yeah, go next. <laughs> All right. So something positive. <laughs> Please. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know if it's po- well, It's not really. You know what? I don't know, dude. It, you, I guess you could see it as positive. Maybe I. I don't. It's not really bad or anything. But pretty much in Canada, they legalized marijuana, the earthly herbal green, Finally. weed. Yeah. So in Canada, Canada is cool with it. They're like, listen, if you want to smoke weed, fuck bitches. That's cool with us. You want to get stoned? That's cool with us. You know, whatever. And uh, Canada's flag has the the maple leaf. Mm-hmm. But like on their coins, um, not like not like their the money they use, but some of their coins for like collections. Um, if you want to collect Canada coins, you know, it has like the maple leaf. Um, they switched that to the marijuana leaf. That's pretty pretty sweet <laughs> Dang. Lol. yeah but anyway so yeah canada's cool with it and i want one of them coins yeah um dude i'll probably send you a picture of it dude so anyway um I'm, I'm waiting for the states you know for america to like legalize that shit but we're gonna take in our sweet time so anyway so pretty much canada's cool with it and japan um the japanese government is like they, they kind of realize this shit they're like all right canada's cool with it but we're still not cool with it so pretty much japanese people japanese citizens who go to canada and go there to visit or go there for school or whatever go to work whatever um the japanese government is saying that if you go to canada even though it's legal whether to do weed if you come back when you come back to japan um they're gonna check ah pretty much they're saying like like you can't be bringing drugs or be high when you come back to japan like that's not cool like it's especially for japanese citizens like it's still illegal for japanese citizens yeah you know so so it's saying like hey even though it's legal in canada it's still illegal in japan so when you come back to japan you might get um in trouble well i think the key words there are do not bring drugs into the country do not be high at the airport i mean I doubt they're going to test to see if you did it while you were over there. They're like, we don't care about that. Just don't be bringing that back here. Yeah, see, like, okay, let's say Nebraska. And Nebraska is still illegal. You know, you you're, you can't smoke weed here. But if you go to Colorado, Colorado is cool with it. So if you go to Colorado, you get stoned off your mind, get a high, whatever, fuck some bitches. Smoke <laughs> whatever. weed. <laughs> yeah. And then you come back to Nebraska and a cop pulls you over and they smell weed they're like hey um i smell weed have you been smoking and you look at the cops you're like hey, yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> it's like all right <laughs> yeah but but um and then the cop would be like um do you have any weed with you you know because mm-hmm. you're in nebraska you know the pot is gonna be like nah man i ain't that stupid <laughs> <laughs> and then the cop is like all right so you don't have no weed but you are high well, all right that's cool that's cool as long as you don't have no weed with you then that's cool you know because you smoked it in colorado so basically it's the same campus rule you can you cannot bring the alcohol on the campus legally but no one can uh like say to you anything if you're gonna be just drunk on the campus yeah that's fine like as long as you don't bring that shit that's cool but if you if you are drunk on campus or if you are high when you come to like nebraska that's cool as long as you don't bring the shit over, you know? Yeah, yeah. you don't have anything on you. You just yeah. die. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, but, but in this case, like what Japan is doing is pretty much saying like if you do get high and you come and you're a Japanese citizen and you do come back to Japan and you're high, even though you don't have any shit with you, if we can tell you're high, you're going to get in trouble, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they, they're going to tell that you're high by your sparkling eyes. Yeah, <laughs> they'll be like, this guy's a little too happy. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. but anyway yeah there's some news for you guys um i don't know how they're gonna really um enforce that because you can't really tell someone's high unless they really smell like it yeah with some, with some shiba inu and corgis in the airport as a security yeah. dogs that's that's very funny i'm just seeing like uh i don't know airport security is like hmm, japanese citizen 
too happy to return to Japan. That's nah, man. Nah. <laughs> nah we gotta check. We gotta check, we, we gotta check that out. We gotta check that out. Go put go put a burrito in front of him and see if he eats it. <laughs> <laughs> and like right when you get the burrito out, it's already halfway down his throat. Shit. I, I can I can go on holidays now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no, open up a bag of chips and see if they turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so a Japanese person a Japanese person's gonna come to the airport and be like, hey, that guy looks a little too happy. All right, so how are we going to test this? Take this pack of gummy bears, walk behind them, open it. They turn around with a smile on their face. <laughs> then their ass is going to jail. Okay, last test. Open a bottle of water and Coke. <laughs> is he how happy they react to that? Yeah. Ah, Jesus. All right, Jerry, what do you got for us? You got anything for us? Any new music? Any music? Any music? I guess to build off of last week, uh, when I was saying that City Pop got popular, well, supposedly a lot of um, DJs are actually taking that City Pop music and putting it into their own little mixes. Uh, I forgot what the genre is called, but it's Teacher Funk? Teacher Funk? Something, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I'm sure you you already seen it with the remix we have of Night Cruising, the faster one. Yeah, yeah, they're doing they're doing stuff like that with uh, other city pop songs. Yeah, but the song that you mentioned last week, like for those people who haven't, um, who don't know what you're talking about, can you give them a quick recap? Okay, so last week I said probably uh, the song "Plastic Love" got really popular. It became basically the face of the genre known as city pop, which is like '80s Japanese music and. 80s funky Japanese music and a lot of people really like it and funny thing though is um Plastic Love that song when it came out during its time it wasn't even the most popular song on the album it was just like a song that was just like it's like one of those songs that's on the album but it's like eh, it's, it's there but it wasn't like super popular when it came out it was just like it did all right now I can't, now it's the face of this whole genre <laughs> Yeah, so recently, recently, this song, this Japanese 80s pop song has been blowing up. Yeah. And it's pretty much going mainstream. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys if you guys haven't checked that song out, check it out. Um, if you don't like the 80s, try looking for a remix of the modern remixes. Yeah. Of, yeah. That future funk. Yeah. Because I feel, I feel like when they re- remix the songs, it sounds like way better. And you're like, damn, this shit is pretty catchy. Mm. But right. then when you go back and listen to the old one, you're like, whoa, this shit is pretty catchy too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. speaking uh, of that, like, um, I know it's not a, it's not a new, probably for you guys anymore, but uh, I kind of dig in that uh, song, Old Town Road. I think it's a... Uh, oh, uh, that one? Uh, yeah, Billy Ray Cyrus. Uh, but uh, for me, it's a little Nas X. Dude, I, I, when I first listened to that song, dude, I liked it. I'm like, you know what, I don't know this shit. And then um, I kind of wondered, like, why it got popular, because the guy who made it, um, I don't know, he wasn't, like, really a famous artist or anything. Mm-hmm. And pretty much it got popular on that one app, uh, TikTok. Oh, okay. You know what that is? I've heard about it, never been using it. Okay, so that's why it got popular, because people were putting that shit on TikTok. And pretty much it's kind of like, um, do you remember that trend where uh, people, ah, I forgot what the song was called. It's where people would, like, play a song. Uh-huh. And it's like dun 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 dun, and they just be like acting all normal, and then when um the bass drops like, oh uh, the Harlem Harlem Shake. Oh yeah, yeah, you remember that shit? Mm-hmm. All right, so that song that you're talking about, uh, Old Country Road, Alex. Old Old Town Road, yeah, yeah. Old Town Road, yeah, fuck, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, so on t- on TikTok, they're pretty much doing the same thing as the Harlem Shake. So it'll be like some guy or girl, or whatever, and they're just um playing that song, mm-hmm. and then when when the beat drops. Mm-hmm. They change into like a cowboys uh, and shit. Yeah, cowboy uniforms and shit. Yeah. Oh, all right. So I watched that shit for like a good six minutes, and then I just got like kind of annoyed. Like, man, fuck these guys. <laughs> 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 like that's that's a stupid trend. And why are you even on the TikTok? I do. I, I wasn't on TikTok. Dude. I was watching it on YouTube. The TikTok oh. complex. <laughs> yeah. No, the song is good, but the the, the song is good. Uh-huh. But the trend, the trend, could die. 
the, f the first time I found it, it was uh, on YouTube too, but it was like a solid like music video. Yeah, they, no, it's a good song. Yeah, they made it a, uh, the the version of it, like a movie movie like. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they have in the intro uh, Chris Rock. You you know what song we're talking about, right, Jay? I think so. I would play it, but uh, then it's gonna be a copyright strike. <laughs> yeah, dude, Fuck. two seconds Fuck. in, it's already gonna get. Yeah. YouTube algorithm is gonna take that shit down. I'm not gonna deal with that shit. It's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Knock uh, it how about off. You what? How about you play it and then I'll cut it out? Oh. Okay. Hello. Uh, we could just honestly play it after. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Fine, fine. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, a problem. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah. So, speaking of YouTube and their fucking algorithm, <laughs> so I uploaded like the I uploaded a podcast yesterday. Yeah. And. Yeah, I did. And I just wanted to make like a good catchy title, you know, like whatever. And since we talked a little bit about like hentai and porn and competing stores or whatever. What? Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> mention it. Mention, <laughs> mention it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you already forget, Jerry? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just. Nah, she's, she's just playing. When you put it all together, I can see why the. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Okay. So anyway, um. I was like, how do I um, pretty much make a title so it doesn't get caught by the YouTube algorithm or whatever? Because um, YouTube, like, if you put, like, bad words in there, like, YouTube is going to freaking demonetize your video. So I'm like, all right, uh, how do I say a porn or a hentai in a title without trying to make it sound safe, you know? So I was thinking of putting, like, porn magazines, but I'm like, nah, YouTube is going to catch that shit. So I was thinking of putting, like, P asterisk RN. And I'm like, no, that catch that shit too. So then I just decided to go with like, oh, well, hentai, it's a Japanese word. And technically it means pervert. It doesn't really mean porn. Like that's something we made up, you know. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, fun fact, hentai in Japan means pervert. It does not mean anime porn for those of you who are not in the know. Right, Alex? But now you are in the know. Yeah, kind of, kind of close. Yeah. Techn technically, uh, hen means uh, a, a change, and tie is mm. a form. So, if you put it, uh, if you put these two words together, so it's gonna be hentai. Hentai basically means something strange, weird. Oh wait a minute! Oh. No, I actually that's kind of. A and when you, and when you talking about the person, then it's a pervert. Okay, that that makes sense. It's like cause, okay. <clears throat> this might be a bit of a stretch, but um. Yeah, it's not the literal meaning, but here you go. Well, I mean, hen is like weird. Yep. Thai is like you attach that when you want to say I want to do. So hen Thai, I want to do weird. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That I feel I'm pushing it, but I don't know. If I mean, uh, that could be actually one good way uh, to rem to memorize the word. But Alex, I guess like when you're like with Japanese people, if you say the word hentai, like the first thing they're gonna think about is the word pervert. Yeah, something like that. All right. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Yeah. Like, if you, I don't know, <laughs> if you're ever hanging out with like a Japanese girl and she's like, "So what are you into?" and you're like, "Oh, I like hentai," you know, <laughs> um, they might they might be like, "Oh, so you you like you like perverts?" and you'll be like, "No, nah, girl, I like that anime titty porn." Like, you kind of have to you, you have to explain to them like what you mean. So anyway, um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah. It's like, okay, that's a conversation starter. Thank you, Kiko. You really know how to do that. Nampa. It depends on, uh, on the person. Maybe you don't, have, you don't have to explain anything. As soon as you said, I like hentai, she's going to close the door. <laughs> yeah, dude, just, just Japanese flirting things. Nampa. Nampa. Yeah, nampa. Do, listen, for any of the guys out there, especially the, the single lonely men out there, um, when you're talking with a female, a girl, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how you clarified. <laughs> when you're talking to a female, a girl. A girl. Yeah. I know they're, they're scary creatures, but one thing, one topic of conversation you should always stay away from is bringing up anything perverted. So don't be saying like, yo, I'm into porn or, hey, you want, you want to, you want a dick pic or, hey, why don't you like, um, slob on this knob or whatever the fuck you know? <laughs> um, is that a phrase that that's a, 
Like, if it's not a phrase, man, make that a phrase, man. Hashtag that shit. Slob on this knob. Yeah, yeah, but don't don't bring up any of this <laughs> shit when you're talking with girls, especially when you meet them, because that they're not into that shit, you know. If you're with a guy, mm-hmm. if you're hanging out with your homeboys and you're like, yo, listen, I love slobbing on knobs, then yeah, we're gonna laugh and be like, you're fucking stupid. But if we say it to a girl, they're gonna be like, no, nah, fuck this guy, like I'm out, you know. <laughs> okay, we have some social skills 101 in this podcast. Yeah, social skills 101, but a lot of people don't have any social skills 101. For real, though. Yeah, like, yeah. no unsolicited dick pics, man. That goes for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. And I actually never understood that thing. How, how come that a guy have an idea to send a dick pic? I, I feel like everyone I meet, yeah, everyone says, yeah, I don't understand that shit. But then you talk to girls and it's like every freaking guy sends them. I'm just like, what the fuck? How's going on? Where do these guys come from? Yeah. There is no girl in the history of ever who appreciates a dick pic unless they ask for it. Yeah. But that's at, at this stage of the relationship, that's probably your girl. Yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. So if it's your girlfriend or whatever, like if she's your girlfriend, then yeah, sure. Send her like ball pics, ass crack pics, whatever the fuck you want. You know? <laughs> she's already your girlfriend. Like she can't escape that at that point. Yeah. <laughs> She can't escape at that point. <laughs> well, you can do it in a funny way. I've heard, I've heard the I don't remember where I've heard, I've heard the story. A guy been telling uh, I've been asking my girl, "Hey, do you want to see my ass?" Like, what do you mean? What the hell? And he just sent a picture of him sitting on the donkey. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know why he decided to do that cheesy move. But hey, this is a, this is just a random story. <laughs> Or how about the girls saying, hey, you want to see the puh? And then they send a picture of their cat. Yeah, that's a that's more plain one. <laughs> or there's that guy that says, like, do you want to see my big black clock? And then they're like, what the fuck? And then he brings out, like, a big black clock. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot. That's hot. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, everybody, to our Learn Japanese podcast. <laughs> 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 Yo, okay, guy. How do you say "big black clock" in Japanese? Hey, do you, uh, do, do you remember? Do you remember that uh, that channel, uh, Filthy Frank? Do you know that channel? I don't think I've ever watched that guy. No, uh, I know. I know what you're talking about, but I didn't watch him. What about it? Uh, I would call him an ex um, meme king, especially if we're talking about Japanese one, because uh, Filthy Frank is a, a native level speaker of Japanese and English. He's uh, half Japanese, half Australian. I just memorized a couple uh, pretty interesting moments. Do you know who he's talking about, Jerry? Mm, sounds familiar, but filthy Frank. No, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I think I. I think he's not uh, active uh, on YouTube anymore because he kind of gr- grow tired of that stuff. Dude, I saw. Um, I I don't know if I showed Jerry this video, but there was this guy. This kid, like this 14 or 15 year old kid, <clears throat> he was doing pranks, coat, coat, prank. And he went up to this girl, like this lady who's like in her late 20s or whatever. And he's he's like a little 14, 15 year old. And he's like, oh, it's going to be funny if I do this. So he goes up to her and he's like, um, you know, uh, something along the lines of like, you know, you have 200, 200 bones in your body, right? And she's like, yeah. And then she's like, and he's like, do you want another bone? And then she's like, why would I need another bone? He's like, because I'm about to bone you. And then, um, oh, man, it was so cringy, man. I'm like, dude, get the f- this isn't a prank, man. They're just cringy, dude. Yeah, dude, well, I mean, come on. These kids the kids growing up nowadays are seeing, like, all these YouTubers freaking doing this kind of shit. And they're like, yo, that's how you become popular on YouTube. Or Yeah. When we're going, it's, like, st- stupid. Yeah, going back to yeah. being social one-on-one. To, yeah, when it, co- when it comes to girls, a.k.a. females... AKA not guys, yeah. Don't don't bring up those perverted jokes, man. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, especially something that that direct. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna piss someone off. Like with guys, it's cool. Like we'll laugh it off. Be like, man, fuck off, man. But <laughs> <laughs> but not with girls, man. Yeah. Shut up, and um, freaking yeah, like such like you know, point of a pickup line is you gotta make them laugh, not make them freaking yeah feel like you're assaulting that. <laughs> Yeah, make it laugh, make them laugh, make keep it innocent, keep it PG, you know. 
Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the Learn well, Japanese podcast, aka the dating. <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, so the going going back to YouTube, yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna, f- I gotta pick up like a good title, so I just decided to go go with the hentai one, and I put it in there. I uploaded that shit, and right after I uploaded it, your video has been flagged. It might have content I- inappropriate for some users or whatever yeah. the fuck. Just because I put hentai in the title, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, our our content is appropriate for, like, all ages, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, Kiko? Well, yeah, I guess. You know, I mean, Kiko here is <laughs> saying smoke weed and fuck bitches. That's appropriate for your five-year-old. Yeah. Dude, five-year-olds can learn early on. Yeah, you have to yeah, learn. Dude. You have to learn life. You got to teach them young. Teach them young. Yeah. So, yeah. so I just, I guess, yeah, I mean, YouTube, YouTube kind of sucks that way. And they, they're not going to review your video to see if it's appropriate. Unless you're pulling like a thousand views a week, then they'll consider it. So pretty much, if you want to avoid the algorithm, you gotta like make your titles like um, more innocent. So instead of saying putting in your title, instead of putting like Japan bitches and weed, you should put <laughs> the study of Japan bitches and weed, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe YouTube will pick it up. At that point, it's a Google Scholar search. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next time, just put something like uh, adult something, something, not not porn or adult magazines or something like that, you know? Wait how, do, how, how, wait, how do all those YouTube videos where it's like prank gone wrong, gone sexual, how the heck do those stay up? It has the word sexual right in... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but the thing is, like... It'll probably get flagged, but they could get it reviewed since they're pulling so many views. Uh-huh. They can get it reviewed by a YouTube, um, per, uh, an actual worker. And they'll be like, oh, Damn. this shit is innocent enough. Like, yeah, he pulled out his dick and slapped the girl with it. But yeah, it's innocent enough. Approved. <laughs> Whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was watching, you know, you know, Moist Critical. <laughs> Moist Critical, yeah. It, penguins, Charlie, whatever you want to call that guy, dude. dude, 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 dude. Wait, wait, wait. No, I was gonna say, if you guys don't know who Penguin Z Zero, aka Critical, if you guys don't know who he is, okay, Moist. <laughs> this guy, this guy, the said, Moist, yeah, yeah, the big Moist. No, this guy, <laughs> this guy's hilarious, dude. Like he, he does some gaming videos, but he, <laughs> dude, he just some of the shit he says, man. You just, you just start laughing, like what the fuck, man. But like this guy's funny. I recommend you check out his channel. You, even you, Alex. Like uh-huh. I don't think Alex knows who he is. But we'll, we'll send you mm. we'll send you a video, man. Uh-huh. The video I'm gonna send you is pretty much um, how to pick up women. That's what the video is called. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And <laughs> for those <laughs> listeners out there, like, I feel like his content is more geared towards guys. I don't think girls will find his content funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he starts off a video with like, uh, "You guys better hold on to your boners because it is a wild story." <laughs> <laughs> wild story we're about to talk about <laughs> i'm just he says it so casually that you have to do like a double take to be like what did you just say yeah he'll be like um all right so we're gonna dive into the story so <laughs> open up your buttholes because i'm gonna come in raw or some bullshit like that <laughs> <'Cause I'm cool. laughs> yeah uh this has become a podcast promoting the moistest guy on youtube's channel well, anyway, if anybody wants to check this guy out, I only recommend to watch one video, and that is Picking Up Girls or How to Pick Up Girls. It's on Penguin Z Zero's YouTube channel, aka Critical. Yeah, um, Alex, I'm going to send link you... Link it in the description. Yeah, sure, I'll link in. Alex, I'll send you the video. It's pretty good. And Roger that. Just like if you want to... Yeah, it's just like if you want to see like some guy talk like stupid shit. I mean, it's funny. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, what, what were you... Why, why are we talking about Critical? <laughs> <Jerry>. <laughs> Uh, no, well, uh, <laughs> I think we're at the uh, freestyle part at this point. Huh? Uh huh. I'm saying I think at this point of our podcast, we're already freestyling, so oh, yeah, yeah, keep it up. We're way out of topic. Keep, keep it up. <laughs> he, 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 uh, wait, 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 hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot to mention oh, one thing. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Alex, what were our three words again? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think it was uh, Sanka. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, uh, Yasumi. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and Hentai. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> no! 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 God damn it. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I remember that it's not Hentai. Boys. 
We fucked the boys. We're done. <laughs> we guys didn't smash the whole podcast. We don't. We we have no idea what we're. Okay, go ahead, Alex. I do remember that the third word was not hentai. <laughs> it was ta- okay. it was tanoshi. <laughs> close. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, close enough. You can use them interchangeably, guys. Yeah. Uh, depending on the station, same thing. When someone asks you, you know, like, how do you feel about this party? You could just say hentai or tanoshi. You know, <laughs> both of them work. Just say, just saying hentai in flashback. <laughs> Having for Vietnam flashback type of thing. <laughs> 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 Alright, so Alex, um, can you translate all three words for us? Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Sanka means uh, participation. You can make it a verb, but uh, Jerry said Sanka, which is uh, participation as a noun. My word was uh, Yasumi, which uh, you can translate as uh, break, uh, holiday, vacation, well, depending on situation. And the last word, uh, hentai means... <laughs> Tanoshi <laughs> Tanoshi <laughs> <laughs> means uh, fun as an uh, object, uh, adjective yeah. yeah having fun yeah. having fun Tanoshi fun and hentai means um, weird things or strange things like pervert just, yeah perverted things so pervert um, in Japan the main meaning is pervert in the states the main meaning is anime porn yeah. so here we go bonus word there you go. Yeah. There you go. Fourth word. Bonus word. Everybody should know. Yeah. Should know. Oh. Yeah. You buy three, you get one free. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, Jerry. So critical. You were you were talking about critical. <laughs> Most critical. Um. Well, this guy. Okay, he was reviewing a bunch of those, uh, prank, gone wrong, gone sexual videos. Yeah. And he, he's just showing himself watching it, and it's just like a bunch of dudes with their, you know girlfriends basically they're just like groping each other and at one point some dude pulls her pants down you can see like her underwear and it's just like how the heck did this thing get past the algorithm you know yeah it's like how are these because it's just a bunch of 12 year olds you know watching these videos and it's like god damn how the heck do these guys like i feel like they get special treatment i don't know oh dude they def they definitely get special treatment dude like we're gonna we're gonna look past the rules for you guys you guys bring a lot of quality content yeah i guess (laughs) No, nah, dude, YouTube, yeah. YouTube, right now YouTube is kind of just fucked up in general. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if you know Alex, but there's like a lot of big YouTubers that got screwed. Like, first of all, like YouTube, um, the advertisement, the ad apocalypse or whatever, like mm-hmm. that, everybody like uh, pretty much started earning, they went from earning, like let's say you're earning like 500 or like a thousand bucks from YouTube a month or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then after the ad apocalypse, Instead of a thousand bucks a month, it went down to like fifty bucks a month. It screws you over bad, yeah. dude. It screws you over bad. It's like there's some people making a living at that point. They just went you. Yeah. They drop you from from middle class to yeah poor class. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> just like now I gotta get a job. Fuck. Yeah. And you know, hey Alex, you know on Pokemon Go where when you have your little Pokemon, it has like CP. Mm-hmm. Um, their power level or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, some um, Pokemon Go YouTubers, they would put in their title like, Oh, my! I maxed out my Pokemon CP. Their video got flagged and said it's not suitable for advertisers. And they're like, what the fuck, yo? Like, I am the most suitable for advertiser person you're ever going to meet. And pretty much they found out that the word CP uh-huh. could possibly stand for child porn. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they done fucked up on that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's, pre- it's pretty crazy, dude. <laughs> and and some people saying that the creators are not family friendly. Okay, I I didn't even know that. They're they're just like fuck. We should have picked something else. Yeah, yeah. That's why so many people go to the Twitch, right? It's like searching CP on Google, and suddenly you're on a list. And you're like, no, no, but my Pokemon's. <laughs> 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 but Twitch, all right so the thing about twitch that you know is man is like you go on there you see the girls are showing their titties they're bending over and they're like here i'm gonna play this game and they're like wait let me stretch real quick bends over twerks a little and they're like all right i'm done stretching wait fifty dollars fifty dollars fifty dollars <laughs> wait hold up before i get back to the computer i dropped a pen oops it bends over <laughs> whatever you know 
Uh, yeah. That shit is cool. That shit is cool. Twitch is like, no, nah, that shit is cool. Whatever. We're cool with that. Now, take this. Uh, this one guy who's chilling in his tank top. It's a hot summer day. He's on his tank top. He's playing a game, giving some strategies. And he's like, all right, guys. So we're playing this game. We're going to do this and that. And then his little dog, his little puppy walks in. He's like, oh, shit, it's my puppy. So he turns to look at, at it. Turns to look at it. You get a little peek at his nipple. Boom. Ban <laughs> for life from Twitch for sexual content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of messed up. Oh, it's messed up. It's it's fucking bullshit, man. It is bullshit. <laughs> but anyway, everybody already knows it, man. If you're into YouTube or Twitch, you should know this shit. Like it's just obvious shit. Yeah, they even have a freaking category for it. Like, okay, so I went to Twitch, right? And there's like, yeah, like bunch of games. You got Fortnite, Overwatch, whatever streamers playing those games yeah. and there's one called science and technology that's the one i like because you get to watch people build things well there's one called <clears throat> just chatting and it just shows like a cover of somebody with i don't know coffee mm-hmm. and i'm just like the heck is this or what just people talking you open it it's just a bunch of titty streamers <laughs> it's just or, or freaking girls that know that they're like beautiful and it, you just click on them and they got like 2,000 people in there and it's just the girls just laying in bed just talking like oh yeah well today I met this guy and, <laughs> and we had fun and I'm like what the fuck is this shit <laughs> god damn dude imagine you go to like science and technology and you see a bunch of like titty streamers and you click on video on one video and they're like for for science and technology I'm gonna put together this Lego set but before I do uh, let me just stretch real quick <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, there are a few on there. Like, um, no, there's some girls that are like obviously attractive, and they're just like, so I'm trying to learn how to code, and I don't know, like, what, like, like Java. What, what do you do? And I'm just, and there's like, they have like 200 people in there trying to teach them how to program, and I'm just like, God damn it, this girl's not paying attention. And <laughs> it's like, it's like 200 people are trying to teach her, and it's, it's just, ah. yeah, the, the internet is fucked, man. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah i like okay i mean the, the way i mean the, 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 wait hold on don't lie guys come on if you guys are girls you guys take advantage of that i would I, I would dude, if you're getting paid big money I would, a- alex alex yeah, yeah what's up if you're on twitch man and people were paying you like let's say a thousand bucks a minute no not a minute i mean that's too much yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. At that point, dude, I'm showing tits and ass. All right, a thousand bucks an hour, dude. A thousand bucks an hour. That's a lot of money, uh-huh. right? Yeah. But you gotta get on there and you gotta bend over, show your ass crack, maybe like fondle <laughs> your balls a little. Would you do it for a thousand bucks? Yeah, you're crack. You're crack. You're boom. <laughs> no, what's that song? You're crack. You're crack. I don't know. I, I know what song you're talking about, but I don't you're, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your pussy and your. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So. <laughs> So if you got if you got on Twitch and you were showing your pussy and your crack and you were getting paid a thousand dollars an hour, would you do it? Uh, hmm, an hour. Yeah, one thousand bucks an yeah. hour. I don't know. Probably a couple of years ago, I would say, "Are you crazy?" Of course not. But nowadays, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't know. I would like to say no, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you work one eight-hour shift, dude. You're set for, like, a good three months. Wait, uh, that's a little bit difficult. When you say 1,000 bucks yeah. an hour, am I supposed to go with 1,000 bucks for the whole fucking month? No, because no, dude. You're, you're saying 1,000 an hour. An hour. I understood, I understood that, but you just said, and you, like, just one hour shift, and you settle for several months? No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I say you do an eight-hour shift. Uh-huh. That's it. Eight thousand bucks right there. Eight eight thousand bucks. That's good for like three months mm. of living. Com- pretty comfortable with spending mm. money too. Most of that, I well, guess. I guess it depends where you live. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. But still, you know, that's one eight-hour shift. But I understand the idea. So yeah. um, probably yes. No. No. <laughs> no. Probably not. <laughs> Dude, I'd be, I'd be the first one on there, dude. I'd be opening up an account so quick. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Kiko already would have his booty shorts on. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, you guys want to see the booty shorts? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Easy money, man. Easy money. Something like an underwear update? No, honestly, dude. If I was a girl, I'd be like, I'd be a big hoe, dude. Getting, taking advantage. So your behavior is not going to change much from now on, huh? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> 
but 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 I mean, like you even get like uh, what do you call them? Like some guys even uh, reported on freaking Tinder. Like some of the girls match with them only to get a free meal. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. like oh yeah, they yeah yeah they they go on the date and the girl's just not responsive and you know of course the guys kind of expected to pay for it, for it. So it's like free meal. It's like god damn. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so I mean, there's a lot of douchey bags. It, uh, there's a lot of douchey guys out there, but there's also a lot of douchey girls out there. Like, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Be careful who you talk to, people. Yeah. Yeah. That's our message yeah. of the day. <laughs> like, what, what is this podcast? Well, welcome anyway? to the what, Learn what, Japanese what, podcast. <laughs> 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 Jerry, do you want to go over our three words one more time for everybody? <laughs> 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 okay, so we got s- a lot of ranting. So we got sanka, which means to par- participate. It's a noun, but you can make it into a verb by saying sanka suru. And also, so people, san- so uh, people participate. Um, yeah. No, like Jerry, like if me and Jerry were getting paid a thousand dollars an hour, we'll be participating. We'll become titty streamers. Yeah, yeah, but you know, if Twitch is full of a bunch of gold diggers, you know. Sanka shinai. Don't participate in that sh- yeah, shit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, next word is uh, yasumi, as in break, as in this uh, podcast is getting pretty long, so we should, you know, take a <laughs> yasumi, yasumi, yeah. yasumo, yasumo. Yep, this works. Okay, yeah, take a break. Yeah, the, yeah. the Jerry, Jerry changed that word Yasumi to Yasumo, which means let's take a break. Yeah, right. let's take a break. Or I'm pretty sure Yasumi Shio might work too. But um, and last word is Tanoshi, as in this podcast is very Tanoshi, Tanoshi Kata, huh. as in fun, enjoyable. All right, enough of your bullshit, Jerry. <laughs> hey man. <fun. laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you're you. not getting you're not getting a raise yeah you're down you're down Damn. you're out you're out <laughs> yo we getting paid for this <laughs> for lying to our face like that wait Damn. you don't jerry you don't what <laughs> what <laughs> this is the first time i heard of this hey, wait, thank you for watching the podcast <laughs> 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 yeah it's like it's like it's like that one meme where like uh it shows the ceo saying like he makes like i don't know Ten thousand, and the manager's like, "You make ten thousand, I only make five And then, like, like the employee's like, "You make five, I only make one thousand And then it's the the intern. You guys are getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting paid. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all getting paid? <laughs> yeah. I wish we were getting paid, man. So let me let's talk about. I want to talk a little bit about Japan. One thing. I can't, I can't, oh wow, we're finally getting back on topic. Yeah, it's just we're. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is our freestyle segment, so we could talk about whatever we want. And if people don't want to listen to this part, the third segment, that's cool, too. Like, I, if, you, if you guys want to leave a dislike, I'm cool with that, man. Whatever, man. You know, leave me a dislike. Leave me some hate comments. Um, whatever, man. Or you can leave some love comments. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. so one thing I noticed about, like, um, when you're using the application Line, Line is kind of like the WhatsApp of Japan their mm-hmm. main go-to messaging app yeah um g- girls and guys on there their profile picture is usually like a food or um like a cartoon one of those heavily filtered yeah you never you never see their face like they never show their face they don't take the selfies so i kind of wondered about this i asked some japanese friends like why why don't you take a selfie you know um just take a selfie mm. take a cool selfie post it up and i'm like nah i'd rather not you know Oh, they post pictures of them and their friends, but never like a direct selfie. So it just it's kind of a weird concept to me. <laughs> and I kind yeah. of wondered about that. And I guess according to like Japanese culture, if you put up a selfie of your face, you come off as kind of conceited. Am I am I correct on this? Mm, not not completely. All right, can you elaborate on that? Well, I guess you're right on your part, but uh, the only thing I should say that's not the main reason. And definitely not the only reason why. Um, like for us, with the Western culture, people like putting um, like on profile, on profile picture, your your real picture is um, like the most common and the most usual thing, right? Well, for Japanese, they're so like 
they uh, they like their privacy that much that sometimes even like uh, putting out your picture like of your face of the way how you actually look like it's uh, sharing your private information that's how uh, like uh, mostly they feel about that stuff and of course um, it's still 21st century so with, with time going people like that showing up uh, less and less I mean on the social medias right but mm -hmm. in the same time there's still a lot of them still plenty of them if not the most of them like any social media Facebook or whatever uh, Japanese website they are using as an alternative for the Facebook you know Mm -hmm. Like this mm -hmm. stuff, like a line that's te technically nowadays that's a totally must-have applicate like app on your phone in, yeah. in Japan. Because there's a lot of stuff uh, going through the line. It's not just a like popular like yeah. a messenger or something like that. So, uh, but I'm getting a little bit uh, off track. So back on the topic, it's privacy question. Okay, so it's a privacy thing. But if someone Okay, so they're very private, but if someone does post a picture of their face and they're like, all right, here's my face, post another picture, like, oh, this is me eating a burrito, mm -hmm. post another picture of their face, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I know you can't really speak from a Japanese pr perspective, but what do you think? Like, if someone is doing that, like, posting pictures of their face, is it, does it come off as cocky, confident, or they don't really care about the privacy, or what do you think? Well, I guess I'm tr they're trying to share as much as they think think it would be safe to share because uh, they're kind of getting getting the, the concept of the social media so you there's the same there's the same communication you came up you came up to your friend like a uh, couple like couple of days ago you're talking about that so technically you can do the same thing on the social media but just in a texting aka sending pictures and comments for so they're trying to kind of feeling the ground but um, it, still, that's a digital form, and uh, some people can get can get to you. Yeah, so I know this Japanese girl who studied here at a university. Yeah. And she went to, like, a meeting or something. Like, I don't know, it was, like, where you get some awards or something. She dressed up, you know, like in, a, like, a little suit. She looked fresh, like, fresh, you know, looked really good. Mm -hmm. um, she took a picture with her friend. She showed me the picture, like, later in the week, and she's like, yo, how did this picture look? And I'm like, man, you guys look fresh. You look good, you know, like, you dressed up. You look, you, like, you guys look fresh. Mm -hmm. Like, post that shit, you know, post that up, you know? And she's like, hell yeah, I'm going to post it. She posted on her line. Okay. But it wasn't the full picture. It was only their feet. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my. And I was like, why, why didn't you post the full picture? Why is it only your feet? And she's like, no, no. I, like, didn't really give me a reason. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. No. <laughs> just, just bitching it out. All right. Just yeah, bitched it away. Yeah, but I mean, I, I get, it's just something you notice. Like right now, even going through like all all of our line contacts, mm -hmm. contacts. Like if all of us go through all of our line contacts, like the only people who really have pictures of their face is foreigners or like people who are not from Japan. Then the Japanese people is like yeah, like food, cartoons, fingers, dolls. <laughs> yeah, or whatever, right? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's just something that I noticed and. I guess, like you said, I guess it's a privacy thing, right? Yeah. More of a privacy thing, yeah. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because Japanese people are very private. Yeah. Yeah, they're really sensitive about that. All right, cool. All right, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, before we go, I'm going to go over the three words for you guys one more time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. No, I got it. I got it. Why is that funny, Jerry? I don't know. We went over them like twenty times, so let's go over them one more, right. one more. Dude, it's Molly Kai. Because this Molly Jerry, if you, if you haven't took note of like the last twenty minutes, thirty minutes, this is obviously the learn Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, we're trying to learn Japanese here. All right, so one more time, because I don't want you guys to forget. Very important, sanka, which means participation. Sanka suru, which means the act of participating, participating. Uh, what was the other word? It was it was <laughs> hentai? Uh, <laughs> hentai, hentai, which means pervert. If you go to Japan, they most likely take it as a. You're talking about a pervert. In the states, it means anime titty porn. Uh, Alex, what, Alex, what was your word, man? I forgot your word. <laughs> oh my god, dude! It was, yes. It looks like someone. <laughs> someone's not paying attention to the yeah. learn Japanese. <laughs> 
My word was Yasumi. <laughs> Yasumi means a break or a holiday. So Christmas Yasumi means Christmas break. Halloween Yasumi means um, Halloween break. Aki, which means fall. Aki Yasumi means fall break. You get the picture. Um, and lunch break is Hiru. Hiru is lunch. Hiru Yasumi, lunch break. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, wow. I didn't know that was a word. Wow. It, it oh. is. Cool. Yeah. Whoa. So if I'm going to my lunch break, Hiru, ya Hiru Yasumi. So there you go. And my word is Tanoshi, which means fun. And I had fun is Tanosh Kata. So there you go. The three wor the three words plus the fourth word for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys remember them. Don't forget them. And yeah. Um, Jerry, do you want to wrap this podcast up for us? It's been a good one, y'all. Talked about a lot of good stuff. Learned a lot of Japanese. Kept things on topic. Kept it very educational. Yeah. Kept it messed up as always. And that's it. <laughs> we kept it obvious. We kept it educational, PG, and YouTube friendly. That we, we should. We kept it educationally wow. messed up. <laughs> we guys, we guys just smashed this whole thing. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching. And yeah, we'll see you in the next episode, which is seven. The next episode of seven. So we'll see you guys in that one. Kondo. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace.